Snacks, snacks on snacks on snacks. I've officially turned into a snacker. We're getting fat and you're coming with me. You never done that? You in the shower? I mean, it feels like a bit much. I don't know what that is. But you're checking body fat all over. Yeah. 17. 17 percent. If you get big and gain body fat, do I get a fat cock? Why? <laughs> That's a good question. You get a fat neck, you get a fat face. I get gyno. I'm trying to make us like a runner hat. Shout out to my boy Bryce, Calgary Barbell, and little RJ on the delivery method. And I'll take it slow. Many of you know we've been cutting for a little bit. We got a lot of excess body fat off. My lowest was about 197, maybe 198. But I started to realize my mood, my energy, everything was really plummeting. And there's multiple ways you can kind of get in that if you've been dieting too long. Being too lean is obviously a huge thing. And people talk about that when you're competing. That was not the case with me. But if you have too low of dietary fat for too long, especially as a male, but females for sure, you can start to mess with your test and other hormones. And I think that just started to kick in a little bit. So not only for the mental break, but the physical break, I just started eating more. Uh, I think I need to like stop tracking for the mental break and physically um, to kick myself up some energy. The goal right now is yeah to continue to build a little bit of muscle, give kind of my hormones my break, my bandwidth. I talk about bandwidth a lot with my employees and myself and how much you can handle, how much it takes away. It's similar like the internet, right? You got one laptop going, it's soaring, but you got 20 laptops on the same Wi-Fi, that bandwidth is going to go away. And every little task in your life uh, starts to hit you like that. So. I just try to manage my own bandwidth and nutrition is just one I need to chill on. All your sex takes me. Four wheels, semi truck riding. Probably hip or back. Two, three really good movements. A little bit of triceps on my back days now. So I hit arms a little harder. So you've been doing like push and you always do triceps after push. They're already just fatigued. So to give them real energy, I'm doing biceps on my chest shoulder day, triceps on my back day. Just one or two movements. Cause you're, you're hitting them when you're pulling around. I'm getting a little bicep. And when you're pushing, you're hitting a little tricep. It's just a couple moves to really top them off. The only goal like to eat more food is to take the pressure off my mind uh, from tracking and worrying about it, uh, to eat like not too crazy so I don't gain a bunch of excess fat for no reason. I'm gonna gain fat for sure. Uh, to kind of be okay with that, which isn't something I'm normally, everyone wants to be lean, especially when you feel the pressures of like running a business and being online, like being lean is like just a factor. Um, but yeah, not go overboard, but not stress myself. That's kind of number one, to feel good mentally and physically about it and not go overboard. That's the normal one goal, reset everything, start to feel some energy back. My sleep's been good, which is cool. And I think that's a part of it too. You start to eat too low of fat and your hormones get weird, your sleep feels weird, but I've been waking up rested. Um, and then again, set myself up to kind of show you guys what you can really accomplish in 30 days if you, if you crush it. But otherwise it's just to breathe a little bit, breathe a little bit. So we're probably week one and a half of my diet break. In sack for about two weeks or so, we might head to regionals in Vegas, so prepare for that vlog. More vlogs coming soon. Um, and then probably end of June, into July, we'll shreds life for 30 days. So you guys can do it with me. I'm not selling shit. I just wanna show what it looks like when you actually lock in on something. Actually, I might be selling something soon. There might be a huge discount. Something We'll let you know as the time goes on. Appreciate y'all, man. New vlogs twice a week. Sell the mic, we're out.